one of the first two or three or four, it would be in a sermon class in Bible college. I preached, sort of, on James 1, 5. If you lack, the context is trials. If you lack wisdom, do you know what the next two words are? If you do, say them. Okay? If you lack wisdom, come on, if you lack wisdom, Tell your neighbor, if you lack wisdom, ask God. God. And then the verse goes on. He gives to all generously. God's never like, you can't have no wisdom. You can't have no wisdom. God's not like that. Say it. Say he's not like that. God loves to give wisdom. In fact, the verse goes on and says, um, he gives to all generously without reproach. And and, uh, the old, I said, what does that mean? Well, the old, the old, uh, King James Version said, he upbraideth not. That's not super helpful. <laughs> what, it, what it literally means is, is that he won't sink his teeth into the person who asks. Have you ever asked somebody something who was too busy for you, and you're like, hey, could I learn? Don't bother me right now, you know? And, and they kind of growl at you for asking whatever that is. God is the opposite of that. He's actually uh, waiting for, looking for, longing for the moment when we say, I don't know what to do. I need wisdom here. So, if you lack, last time, if you lack wisdom, say it. He gives to all generously, all right? And without reproach, he doesn't, he doesn't get all ticked off that you're asking. He's actually pretty excited about that, blessed by that, has been trying to bring that about. When was the last time you quieted your heart and just asked God for wisdom? Just, just like that, just straight up, God, I need wisdom. I don't know what to do here. 